you are in sin that way na hukumu ya tendo baya hukumu yako haiji haraka evil act its condemnation doesn't come speedily hallelujah hallelujah haiji haraka it doesn't come speedily tusomee tena well for us again the same mesikia kwamba imenenwa usizini lakini mimi nawaambia kila mtu atazamaye mwanamke kwa kumtamani amekwisha kuzini naye moyoni mwake He have heard that it was said by them of all time thou shall not commit adultery but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart Hallelujah Anasema ameshatena He says he has already committed in the heart Viungo vitauma sawa sawa na yule anatamata will pain like that one who committed the act The act is nothing Ile ni kama kutia sahihi That is just like signing that but your judge said away the boss will ache not because of the act only even the thoughts will make the boss to ache and the muscles cutting and the blood oozing out amen amen because you commit a sin in your soul with thoughts and imaginations that's why seek holiness hata kwa mawazo kwa fikra even your thoughts and imagination kama alivyosema paul as he said when watakatifu be holy kama mimi nilivyo mtakatifu as i am holy and bwana yesu anasema and it's jesus who said that we can't on our own atuwezeshaye ni bwana yesu one who can enable us the lord jesus hallelujah hallelujah usiseme nitawezaje don't say how will i manage this kama mume wangu yule if my husband there hanijali mimi doesn't care me mwezi mzima the old man yuko na hanijali he doesn't care me hiyo si license ya kuo tendeza that's not a license for you to go to say hallelujah hallelujah si license it's not a license for you to go to say ndio kwamba ukienda dhambini when you go to say itakuwa si si dhambi it won't be sin mungu atakuhurumia maana ni kwa vile mume unaye na hakujali because your husband doesn't care about you kwa vile mke unaye lakini ana hakujali your wife doesn't care about you aiwe hao haina neno now to be legal unto you hukumu iko condemnation is there hukumu iko condemnation is there kikombe hakijajaa a cup is not full yet hallelujah hallelujah ndio msiwe humo mkaiga mabaya so don't be here and emulate evil msiwe humo don't be here to we are called to go to heaven na anasema bila utakatifu and he says without holiness you can't see god amen amen turudi pale let's go back pale pale warumi maana tutafunga na romans ndio anasema dhiki na shida he says tribulation and anguish juu ya kila nafsi ya mwanadamu atendaye uo upon every soul of a human being would have said kwanza the jew first na muyunani pe and the gentile too wafanya uovu wa kutotolea mungu you are committing evil not offering unto zaka na sadaka na shukurani thanksgiving ushiriki kazi za mungu you don't partake in the works of god na heshima ya kubarikiwa njia zako hizi you want honor to be blessed in your kama huu upite kama hivi such a crusade like this one here wasema huna cha kutoa hata you say you've nothing to do kilo ya sukari even a quarter kg of sugar amen amen tena wataka heshima ya baraka again you want honor of blessings ah. okay no hallelujah hallelujah wataka heshima ya baraka you want honor of blessings hata robo kilo even a quarter kg hata kilo moja even 1 kg hata tomato angaa fungu moja tu la shilingi 10 tomatoes costing 10 shillings usiweze that you're not able to do tena heshima ya kufanikiwa wataka kuona to prosper how na biblia yesu alisema and jesus said alienacho atawezewa one with something shall be added more na yule ambaye hana and one without utakila alionacho tunyang'anya even the little heart will be denied alienacho one with something hallelujah hallelujah ataongezewa shall be increased ulikosa hata tomato anga fungu moja did you lack tomatoes only 10 shillings au oh, vitungu anga fungu moja la shilingi 20 even onions costing 20 shillings anga vikarange boga ya siku moja to fry the food for one day vitungu vya shilingi 20 vinakaranga anga sufuria ya moja la mboga one pan iwe vitungu ni yako wewe umetoa wewe vitungu hivi you are on onions 20 shillings uone kama utakosa heshima na baraka if you miss the honor and blessings kwa uchache wako huo wakiingia barakani wale waliotoa vikubwa nawe uko hapo hapo maana hiyo ndio milioni yako ndio Yesu akasema siku moja Yesu alikuwa kwa ibada ya Jumapili 
akaona watu wanatumbuki za manoti he manoti, saw people manoti. bringing a lot of notes and notes lakini akasifuma mama mmoja mjana he pelt one widow ametoa senti kidogo she gave some little she said this woman ametoa kuliko ninyi nyote has given surpassing you all ninyi nyote all of you ah. Okay. Okay. They said, you pastor, how? Like in the voice God commanded you. You will spare the money for your debt lest your house have sije mkafungi wa nyumba lest your house is lakini mmetoa kweli but you offer lakini to sile sauti ya Mungu but not as the voice Uyo of God huyo ametii sauti ya Mungu vile nilivyomwambia as obey the voice of God as it commands you kidogo very few say na Mungu akamwambia atoa yote God told her to give her akubakisha maana akijinyumbana ale never kula ali to cater for her maana amewazidi that's why she has surpassed you all maana ametii sauti because she has obeyed the voice of God as it commanded you na kinasema chuo and the bible says utakaposikia sauti ya bwana mungu you hear the voice of the lord i go ore na kutii kama inavyokuagiza ndipo that is when ndipo baraka hizi zitakujia this blessings will come Deep. and surpass ndipo that is when ndipo that is when ndipo that is when ile ndipo that is when utakaposikia sauti ya bwana mungu when you hear the voice of the lord i go iwe ni kichacha lakini ndio mungu amekuagiza to be little but god has commanded you kile kingi huna lakini amekuagiza hicho you don't have much but he has commanded you sauti ya mungu hiyo that is the voice of the lord ndipo ndio That is when we'll come to part to such a people.